Hello everybody, welcome back. Jordan here. Today, we're heading to the Lego store to do some Lego shopping. Woohoo! <laughs> oh my gosh, I think I'm dressed up a little too classy for uh, a woohoo. Uh, yeah, I've got a fancy little dress shirt on here. Nothing too crazy though, a little button-up short sleeve. And why am I wearing it? Well, that's because there's a new Lego set that's coming out that's pretty classy, and that is the Lego Ideas Typewriter. It's part of the 18 plus lineup, so this one's for adults only. No, I'm just kidding. But it is a pretty sweet set. It's got some crazy building techniques in it. It's got some awesome moving functions. And it's actually a Lego idea set. So a Lego, a fan of Lego actually submitted uh, an idea to the Lego Ideas website and it got approved. His name was Steve Guinness. And now it's actually part of the Lego product lineup and it's actually available at the Lego store starting today here in June of 2021. Now this set is gonna pair up beautifully with the Lego Ideas piano, just sort of like that same sort of vibe, you know what I mean? So this thing is pretty crazy. It's got like different moving parts and oh, it's just crazy. All the different keys are print pieces. So I'm not really getting this set because I'm a huge fan of typewriters, but I'm getting this set because I'm a huge fan of Lego and I'm a huge fan of different Lego building techniques. So I'm really excited to sort of buy it here today, check it out, and also build it, uh, obviously, and, and add it to the collection here as well in the Lego room. So it's pretty sweet. Let's have a quick look at the piano here. I don't have power functions in it right now, but it actually sits right here below the Roman Colosseum. Oof. And you can see it's got like moving keys and all sorts of cool stuff. It actually plays music with the app. It's got the little uh, bench and it is pretty amazing. It's got so much detail and I remember it to be one of the craziest, like most sophisticated builds that I've ever built. I mean, obviously it's not like a Technic set and neither is the typewriter. However, it's a brick built masterpiece and I'm gonna put the typewriter at the same sort of level as this. All right, well, that's enough banter here in the Lego room. Let's head on out to do some Lego shopping. Woohoo! Here we go, we've arrived at the Lego store, and of course, in the front window here, we've got a cube with the typewriter on display. Holy cow, at first glance, it doesn't even look like a Lego model. It looks straight up like a typewriter. So this is available to uh, VIPs right now from the 16th until the 30th, and then available to the general public after that. It's the 35th Lego idea set set number 21327. All those keys there are print pieces. It comes with the letter as well, and all sorts of cool components in there that just make it look so authentic. It's, it's on point, it looks amazing. Pretty incredible, pretty classy little display here as well. Of course, in the Lego Creator Expert slash Art slash 18 plus department is where we find the brand new Lego Ideas typewriter. Ooh, definitely already got one of those behind the counter there. We've got assembly square of the corner garage. Also, I've noticed that they put a bunch of stuff on sale. For example, the relatively new Spring Lantern Festival. Apparently that's being retired and they're gonna clear through the ones here at the store and throughout the warehouse. And then once they're all gone, they're gone. And that one there is on sale in Canadian dollars here for one. $143.99, it's about 10% off. And this one here is on sale as well. It really caught my attention because of this red strip right here, and you actually see that there's even more things on sale throughout the entire store, so I'll show you that right now in this video as well. But first I'm gonna show you these promos here. It's the McLaren Alva Poly Bag. If you spend $55, you're gonna get one of those for free. It says Happy Father's Day there. Also, they still have this free uh, photo holder cube, which is part of the DOTS program, or DOTS lineup. So you get that for free when you spend $55 as well with qualifying purchases. So a couple different promos right now with the LEGO store as well. So this is Diagon Alley, but the big question for me though is, is why is Harry Potter way up there on the acrylic stand? <laughs> He's just sort of floating. They've actually changed the store displays too, and they've added these like tents. They almost look like tents. Pretty cool. And those are all throughout the store. We've got our Harry Potter, or a Harry Potter set there. Then our uh, Surfer Beach House. 
along with uh, the city car, which is a fantastic car. Hey, that's a cool minion set. Interesting. Over here, we've got Monkey Kid, Harry Potter, Minecraft, Marvel, and DC. And I've actually noticed some things on sale over here as well. We got the Avengers truck takedown. Also the Hall of Armor. The Spider-Man versus Venom mech. And also the Thanos mech. Those are all on sale. This looks to me, they look to be about 10% off approximately. So nothing too crazy. You got some of the, the new Harry Potter stuff still over here. So like Hogsmeade and all the new stuff, right? Like the wizarding chess. Still want to get that. That looks pretty cool. And we built the brickheads and the, the figures and stuff like that. And I thought those were pretty cool. And there you go, you get the little minifig uh, accessory pack as well. I was taking a glance at the pad wall here and I was like, maybe we should have a look. <laughs> Always worth having the brows, right? Some one by three, light bluish gray. Also, I noticed a pretty cool uh, color over here in one by bricks. This light blue color. This is pretty interesting. Also, we've got black. All sorts of circular pieces down here. Yellow one by sixes. And it's official. You can actually pack your own cup now here at our Lego store. You just have to sanitize your hands and you can pack your own cup. And if you bring your own cup back, you save 50 cents. So it's nice to know that things are sort of starting to get back to normal. And you can pack your own pick a brick cup here at the Lego store in West Edmonton Mall. So it's pretty sweet. I don't really see anything that I desperately need. I will admit that I'm a little bit spoiled with this pad wall. So if I see something that I really want, like for example, these two by two circular reddish brown tiles, I can feel safe knowing that if I come back here at a later date, they'll probably still have something similar to it or those exact pieces. Here in the Disney section, we actually have a rare sighting. We've got the Disney castle in stock right now. That's pretty neat. And also we have some more things on sale here, like these two Frozen sets. It's very uh, interesting that that uh, one Chinese New Year set was on sale over there, the Spring Lantern Festival. That actually looked pretty cool. Well, I already know, I already know it's cool, I already have one, but to save 10% on that, I feel like that set's gonna do well over time. It is a really neat set. Even over here, they have the flower bouquet and the bonsai tree. Yeah, I just feel like that's such a good, good set over here. I'm, I'm very surprised to see that it might be going and very surprised to see it on sale. And you'd still get your VIP points as well. So you, essentially here in Canada, you get your 5% cash back and you get the 10% uh, off. So it's like 15% off technically. Here in the Technic department, there's actually a couple that I still want to get. Dom's Dodge Charger. Wouldn't mind adding that to our Technic collection and also the uh, Corvette right down here as well. I'm into collecting just like the, uh, the sports cars. We got like the Porsche, we've got the Ferrari, the Bugatti, the Lamborghini, but I wouldn't mind adding those two potentially. Definitely not today, but they sort of fit in the realm in which I want to collect, right? So, oh my gosh, I almost just left the store and I just spotted this in the Speed Champion department. So when we came here on the release date of these products, they definitely didn't have this one in stock. They were meeting, or they were having production problems or something like that. But we've got the Ford GT Heritage Edition and Bronco right here. It's $70 for the, uh, the two pack. Oh, I'm strongly considering getting that. Also, we got uh, a nice uh, Jurassic World set here as well with a couple of great minifigures and the little mini dino. Do I get the Ford Bronco though? Or do I hold off on that? So there's also a little pod right here that has a bunch of Ninjago stuff that's on sale as well. It's all about 10% off. So apparently this stuff will be going into the retirement phase here, essentially once they run out of stock and sort of clear it out through their retail locations. So we were looking at the Ford Bronco there, which is $70. And I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I made a move here and I got the Spring Lantern Festival. <laughs> I just like it. It comes with some great figures. It's $144 on sale and there's 1,793 pieces in that set. So it's a great PPP, price per piece, right? Also, it's just a fantastic set. I honestly had a great time building it. And it's, it's a wonderful set. I think it's just a piece to have for sure. 
So we just finished up the Lego store there. We've got our little haul. Ooh, yeah, it's actually pretty heavy. We got the Spring Lantern Festival in there. Also the typewriter, obviously. It looked great on the display there. It looks exactly like a typewriter. Absolutely nuts. Can't wait to build that thing and just sort of add it to the collection. And I think Jose is actually gonna let me put that one upstairs beside our record player, which is pretty cool, pretty classy, right? Uh, we saw some stuff on sale, uh, like the, obviously the, the Spring Lantern Festival that I've talked about and can't stop talking about for some reason. Just love that set, some great parts in there that are just fantastic. Also some of the uh, uh, Marvel sets were on sale as well and a couple Disney sets. Saw the new Ford Bronco, but unfortunately, I'm just gonna leave that, not unfortunately, I'm just gonna leave that for the future. It's always gonna be on the shelf moving forward, right? It's not like I have to get it. Don't plan on building it, you know, right away here because we gotta build this giant typewriter. Uh, also, so we saw the Disney Castle in stock. Rarely see that, right? So, pretty interesting. Pretty quiet in there today, but a few good products in stock, a few good products on sale, brand new typewriter coming out. Got lots more stuff coming out here in the summer of 2021. In July and August, it's gonna be nuts. That's really about it for today. Just wanted to share my little experience here as we went to the Lego store to check out what's good. Remember to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for some more great stuff coming out in the near future. And as always, guys, have yourselves a great day and build some cool Lego. Farewell.